primary Chapman bike. Uh, a nice unit that is a must-have unit, I think, for the Salamander's army, which I have. Uh, so let's unbox this one and then assemble. Here we go. Hmm. A lot of pieces for such a small one. Nothing inside. The base, normal bike base. Uh, some instructions. Space Marines, Chaplain and bike. I don't think it is hard to assemble it. But better, you know, to assemble and paint it separately. But we'll decide what to do. Oh, and there is a base you should not prepare. So we can simply paint this base and he's ready for fighting and just no additional painting but we'll add something on this base of course okay then some decals I don't think we need these decals but let's see mm, the first brew oh nice base I mean nice base because Really, you don't need to add something on your base just to make it battle ready with this thing. Uh, one hand, some pieces of bike, weapon on the other hand, purity cells, bike pieces. No, that part is okay. Then some wheels. Oh, they're not round. How can he use these wheels? I don't think this is a good idea. You see, f for your bike, just don't buy this kind of wheels if you find somewhere. I think this is okay. Uh, I prefer to use this head instead of this. Because uh, this skull helmet is pretty nice for me and for the army. Uh, the book in front of the bike, here it is. Okay, here we have everything we need just to make this nice unit. I don't think that it is very interesting how I'm cutting off these pieces and then cleaning them from the excessive plastic. So I think we'll skip this on the video and then I'll show you what we have after cutting. But I have this. Maybe it's a cruel to cut these pieces with this thing. No. Now we have cut all the parts and cleaned them, so we can start assembling this primary chaplain on bike. Okay, we have glued all parts we need to paint. We're going to paint it separately to make the miniature easier for painting. So let's prime all our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven separate parts and then paint them. We prime everything in black because primary is black. Uh, so it'll be easier just to have this miniature black. Also, I have painted these black primer with bottom black color makes our painting next step easier as we have the same black color every time you can skip this step and just prime it black so the first step we're going to do is to paint all our metallic parts in a metallic color we're using lead belcher citadel color So you can see how it should look like when you paint. Now 
Now we have completely painted all our metallic parts. We're painting now the pipes cover on the back wheel with the belt as our gold. While painting, try not to paint the black recesses just like I did, so you won't need to repaint these recesses black again. Let's paint some wheels. Let's paint the wheels of this bike using gray. I prefer using ancient gray and mechanicus gray. Why these colors? Because I have these colors. Uh, gray wheels make some contrast so I really recommend you not leaving the wheels black just paint them like I did and a lot of other painters do the same thing. We're painting not the whole wheel uh, we're just leaving the black gaps they should stay black. The idea is to make the wheel gray with Asian gray and then paint the border of the wheel with Mechanicus Grey. Next step is painting purity seals on the shoulder pads. I like using Agrox shade to apply on the white part of this purity seal and then you can use some brown color to make some inscriptions on these seals. The part that I love very much painting the head. We're going to make this head not so complex just using some golden metallic and some white colors to paint the skull helmet. Also Mephiston Red for the eyes. Add some lead belcher for the steel parts of the helmet. White color for highlighting and some golden color for his nimbus or whatever it is. Next step is painting golden parts. So everything that should be golden, let's make it golden. I don't like painting metallic because I don't like the layer the metallic is making on the miniature but it is the most simple thing you can do so don't forget not to use the white palette when using your metallic colors as white palette is a great thing uh, for metallic colors it is not I've spent about an hour painting all these golden parts uh, it is not too simple, it's not too hard, but it takes your time. That's the time to paint the book and also to paint the bolters in front of this bike. For all the red colors I use Mephiston Red because this is the only red color I have and I don't want to buy any red colors. If you need to change the color you can use your brown, your white, color or every other color just to make the tones. So Mephiston Red is great for all the purposes. The time for the skull part. As I remember I have salamanders. It is not necessary but I like how green fits the other colors. Wild Flesh and Wipestone Glow will help you and salmon green just to highlight this shoulder pad. Let's paint the bags on my miniature and the belt. The time has come. We are gluing all parts together. We are ready to have a complete miniature that is not 
painted yet, but the main colors are added on this miniature. And as you can see, I have highlighted some parts using Asian Gray. Asian Gray is good enough to highlight, or you can use any other dark gray color. Mechanicus Gray is good too. Uh, these highlights are adding some volume to your miniature. Don't skip this step. I strictly recommend you to highlight your minis. After touching the body, I decided to remove it once again, just to paint everything and only then to attach the, the old parts. Uh, you can see I've painted the book using brown color, mixed the mid red and some red and uh, yellow color and some golden color to paint the other parts of this book to make some contrast. So it looks nice. Uh, also, I used Corox White and Agrox Shade to paint the pages of this book inside. Thank you for watching this video. I strictly recommend you to paint characters. A paint ch character is every time much more interesting and gives you some more experience than taking your 10 space marine intercessors and painting every miniature the same way. So share in the comments which characters have you painted. Thank you. Bye.